friends that's recording you, that that's 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 recording you now. They're not gonna be there when that when it's time for you to pay your your mansion bills, when them Ferrari bills is due, when them them ice bills is due, them Johnny Dang bills is due. They're not gonna be there. They're gonna be looking at you because they they gonna be like, hey, we need you to break it down, bro. We was there, bro. We was, hey man, we were blinking with the icky uh, fuck. We were there. So you have to tell them. You have to implore them. Hey, bro, it's a tight ship around. It's a tight operation. If you need like a project manager, like it could be a hood, the hoodest project manager you, you want, bro. Because if that's the lifestyle you want, surround yourself. But they have to move smart. Gangs, like I, I don't understand this idea of like gangsters move stupid. Like why you have to be gangster move stupid? You can be a gangster move smart. Like you ever heard of the mafia? Like what are you do? What are you doing? What are you doing? This is this is insanity. Like let, this is insanity, dude. Like stop this. Kick it. Go to the gun range. Imagine if, okay, imagine if the situation was Ja was just at a gun range. You Do you understand the diff? Like, you can have guns, Ja. You just can't be like, la, la, la. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? If you like guns that much, take a class. Go to the gun range. There's options. There's literally a support group for people who like guns. What was it, NA or NRA, the NRA? There's a support group for people like you. You got money. That's the difference. That's the difference, bro. You have money. Javius uh, Morantius uh, was out in the club uh, and he had his uh, blicky out, uh, the sticky out. Uh, yes, 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 he had that pole, he had that pole, he had that pole. And I'm not talking about the ones the girls are on. Let's see what he had two months ago. Okay, okay. Man, okay. All right. The thing is, as a basketball player, the lifestyle that they are okay with you having, right, is the nightlife lifestyle, right? The, uh, you know, you can spray money around, you can do the club, you can spray money on strippers and stuff like that um, and do that. Uh, and I think generally they, they don't, but when you start introducing guns into it and you're flashing it, it starts to kind of become a problem for the NBA and ad space and things like that. So this is, this could be problematic, but that was two months ago, so. Uh, so two months ago, this happened. He gets suspended for eight games, eight games. Missed a bunch of it. You could say this was part of the reason why they lost that series and ended up flaming out when it came to seeing the Rockets. I mean, I know Dylan Brooks had his whole thing <laughs> where he poked the bear. Uh, definitely check out the graphic I did for that bad boy. But um, yeah, he definitely poked the bear. I mean, but he was obviously scapegoated, right? Like at the end of the season, the Memphis Grizzlies let go of Dylan Brooks, right? Who all he did, everything that he did was on court, right? Everything he did, he talked trash, he didn't back it up, but what he did was he went out there, he gave you 110%, put it on the line, talked a little trash while he was doing it, and he fell short. Are we going to fault a man for that, right? We're not going to fault a man for that. We'll fault him for poking the bear. We will definitely fault you for that. We're going to make fun of you. We're going to chastise you, right? But is should he have been scapegoated in my opinion absolutely not you know why because i don't think he was the only problem on the team two months ago before any of the bear poking stuff your boy javius marantius 
over here was out there in the club, you know, like yo Samity Sam Sam man, right? What, what do you need a gun in the club for, bro? You are a basketball player. Get a security guard. All right, okay. You know what? He went to counseling. He went to some, sh some I don't, I'm not gonna say it's a sham, but he did go to a very, very suspect counseling, which lasted, I mean, about as quick as one of the meetings you guys have in the morning. Like, they're just like, it's a quick huddle. That's what they call it. He had a quick huddle with a counselor. Hey, don't do that no more. He said, all right, I ain't finna do it no more. And then they went their separate ways. Let's see what our boy, <laughs> Javius Morantius is up to. I mean, just yesterday. Just, 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 just. He's yesterday. only gone ahead and done it again. Okay, uh, just, just yesterday. And our boy, Javius Morantius, is at it again. At it again. My guy. There's something in life called lessons, and you just seemed to not learn that, right? And the thing about John Morant is, nobody dislikes John Morant. It's it's a weird, it's such a weird complex because he got, he's getting, he's getting suspended and he's been suspended, right? So let's let's watch this clip before I dive in into my kind of analysis of what, what what's kind of weird about his situation. A clear win. The video was taken, the Grizzlies were it is not clear when the video was taken. The Grizzlies released a statement this morning. You see it here. We are aware of the social media video involving John Morant. He is suspended from all team activities pending league review. We have no further comment at this time. All right, our senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, is here. And, of course, you have been on the phone all day long with practically everyone, I'm sure, around the league. What are the things that you can tell our audience that we don't yet know? Uh, Greeny, uh, John Morant is facing the very real possibility uh, of a suspension, a lengthy suspension, uh, to start next season after this latest incident with he uh, and an apparent firearm uh, in his possession. This is twice in two months now. The league suspended him. Twice in two months? Bro, you couldn't even, you couldn't wait. Like, it's okay. You know what? I'm in Texas. Everybody's got guns. Literally, like, everybody's got guns. My neighbors have guns. Their neighbors have, like, everybody has guns. You know we're not, what we're not doing? We're not going on IG Live, dangling our gun, because it just, what, what does that, I, I don't, I, I've never understood the, um, the allure of waving a gun, right? Like, does it, I don't know. It's it's such a weird young mentality, I think, is what it is. It's like, we're like, you know, like, you just kind of like carefree, you like, yeah, whatever, you know, you get, me and my homies, we bust and cap, like, but why are your friends recording? Like, why on earth are your friends recording? Yo. If you do stupid things, you know what the number one thing you shouldn't be doing? You shouldn't record them. Don't have your friend doing this on IG Live. Like, bro, you look, it just looks stupid. Like, it just looks stupid. It just looks stupid. Because it's like the simplest thing not to do, not record. And it's not like, it's not like you getting caught in 4K by somebody else. It's not It's not a, like somebody in 4K, paparazzi. Like if it was paparazzi, if it was like some hidden security camp, if it was some like undercover stuff that they're uncovering, like the Wall Street Journal has done and we've seen John Moran flashing his gun in the club and do 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 do. Like people be like, damn, they really dug in for that one. Bruh, you are literally doing this to yourself. You are literally fumbling the bag. You are f you are fumbling the bag right now, my guy. You have a very finite opportunity. Um, like the thing is, youth isn't gonna last forever. 
your athleticism isn't gonna last forever. You need to maximize it. And I'm talking from Mr. Peanut Gallery over here. You need to maximize. You have a very little, very finite opportunity to make the most amount of money you can possibly make in your lifetime to set your family up for life. And you messing it up just to show some guns, just to show some hundred dollar guns a lot. Like, it's, it's so crazy. Like, how much could those guns be worth? Like, 500 bucks? Like, you got, like, a, like you're willing to sacrifice $600,000 for a revolver that my granddad used to shoot turtles with in the backyard. Bruh, I, I, I will never understand that. And maybe because I'm too broke to understand. Maybe I'm too poor. Maybe that's what it is. I'm a brokey and I don't understand $600,000 or something. They sneeze with those out there. I don't sneeze at six. Like, you, you have to be just sick with that. And I hate to be the guy who says, oh, you're hanging out with the wrong people, it's this and that, but that's just, you, your friends can change in the sense that like they themselves can evolve, right? If you want your friends to evolve, be like, yo, all right, we're doing some crazy. We can do, the thing is, you can do crazy stuff. Like nobody's saying, like, don't be like crazy when you at home by yourself. Like, do what you want to do. Like, be careful, but do what you want to do. But like, don't put these people's money in jeopardy. Like, don't mess up your own money, because you're you the the friends that's recording you, that that's 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 recording you now. They're not gonna be there when that when it's time for you to pay your your mansion bills, when them Ferrari bills is due, when them them ice bills is due, them Johnny Dang bills is due. They're not gonna be there. They're gonna be looking at you because they they're gonna be like, hey, we need you to break it down, bro. We was there, bro. We was, hey, man, we were blinking with the icky on full. We were there. So you have to tell them, you have to implore them, hey bro, it's a tight ship around here. It's a tight operation. If you need like a project manager, like it could be a hood, the hoodest project manager you, you want, bro. Because if that's the lifestyle you want, surround yourself, but they have to move smart. Gangs, like I, I don't understand this idea of like gangsters move stupid. Like why you have to be gangster and move stupid? You can be a gangster and move smart. Like you ever heard of the mafia? Like what are you, do what are you doing? What are you doing? This is this is insanity. Like, like this is insanity, dude. Like, stop this. It, it it it's it's not my money, but it's just like yo, you're watching this guy. Like, it's like when you saw Dennis Schroeder leave LA when he was offered like 40 million to only have to take three million. Like, oh, you, it's not it's not my money, but it's like it's like a oh that hurt that I, it, I hurt for you. You know, like ah, that sucks. You know. But like, you because the thing is, the NBA is so invested in John Moran. They want him to be so likable. You know why? Because he is an amazing, when I say amazing basketball player, he's an amazing light show. Every time you see him, when he steps on the court, I'm like, yo, must watch television. This man is electric when he gets out there electric when he bruh he tries to dunk over everybody you don't care who it is you getting dunked on you 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 your mama your cousin put them in the middle of this thing we somebody getting dunked on tonight and it looks spectacular but his personal off the field issues make him a huge liability to advertising sponsors right like that's the that's who it comes down to is advertising because that's what they care about can we sell this to our kids? Hey, how am I gonna sell this to my kids? How am I gonna, you know? That's what made Gilbert Arenas so unpopular, is he was a good basketball player, but the off the court stuff made him hard to work with, right? Like, you're bringing guns in the locker room. Like, you, you, these things affect you. And nobody's trying to baby you, nobody's trying to son you, nobody's trying to do none of that. People's just trying to tell you, yo, don't mess up your money. You got a little chance, bro. Like when people, when the thing is, it's like the black community isn't trying to chastise. They're just trying to be like, yo, we see you trying to make money. Like it's, when you see one of your own getting money, you're like, yeah. And when you see that money, like just go away on some stupid stuff. You're like, no, don't just, it's just sad. It's just unfortunate. 
I wish this man the best. Let's like listen to a little bit more of this. And it's 12 minutes. You're not going to have to watch 12 minutes of this. But this is my commentary. Stop flashing guns, John. For eight games, really two of them uh, retroactive to really just two games earlier this season. Uh, I sense already today that Adam Silver is going to feel like increasing pressure uh, from other teams in the league who see this as much as, uh, as it impacts the Grizzlies that impacts them and their ability to market their players and their teams. I think there was a sense uh, with that eight game suspension earlier th and, and during last season and that Adam Silver showed some restraint uh, in that edict with John Morant, took him uh, at his word that he would make better decisions. They met in league, the league headquarters. Now, the league's investigating. They're still going now to make sure that this was a legitimate video, that it wasn't doctored in some way. Uh, but I think yeah, there's, there's a lot of AI videos out right now, so you know it could be any, it could be an AI job. We all crushing job. <laughs> what if we come back and it's like it's an AI video, guys? Calm your freaking boobs down, like yo. That would be kind of weird, but it'd be a very oddly specific <laughs> thing to to ask the AI to do. <laughs> Put it in, and AI is notoriously bad with hands, so you would notice instantly. But let's continue. There's a, a real, real possibility if that He's getting is suspended. what it appeared to be a weapon in John Morant's hand, he again is going to likely face a significant suspension to start next season. Uh, the, the commissioner has pretty wide ranging latitude uh, in terms of best interests of the league, contract conduct detrimental to the NBA mm -hmm. to suspend uh, John Morant without pay. Yeah, and I'm guessing it's going to be multiple games. I'm guessing double digit, like probably 11, 12 games or something like that. That's my prediction. Um, it's because they gave him eight games, came back two months later. You're like, hey, lesson unlearned. <laughs> ja, come on, bro. I, please. Like, if you're gonna, if you're willing to throw away $600,000, let me send you my Venmo, bro. Just, hey, bro, cash app your boy. Because I just, this is ridiculous. Maybe you need to just hire me to do, to, hey, the, you about to do something stupid. You, hey, you look at me, I'm gonna look at you like this. That nigga don't do that. Hey, hey. I, who got the phone? Give me that phone. What are you doing? Now go back to, Checking the million Schofield hot sauce while bungee jumping off the Empire State Building. Like, I just don't record it. If you're gonna do some, don't record it. Don't have your friends record it. Just have fun. Kick it. Go to the gun range. You imagine if, okay, imagine if the situation was Ja was just at a gun range. You Do you understand the diff, like, you can have guns, Ja. You just can't be like, la, 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 la. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? If you like guns that much, take a class. Go to the gun range. There's options. There's literally a support group for people who like guns. What was it, NA or NRA, the NRA? There's a support group for people like you. You got money. That's the difference. That's the difference, bro. You have money. You know the reason guys in the hood try to do that shit? They ain't got money. They ain't got shit. There's nothing to lose. They've got nothing to live for in the sense that like, hey, if I go to jail, whatever, my followers going to be up online. My, my live's going to be lit. You don't need guns for your live to be lit. You don't need any of that extra stuff to be John Morant. But if you feel you do, don't post it. That's that's the, the simplest advice I can give. And I'm gonna stop beating the dead horse and now. And uh, let's see what Stephen A has to say before we jump out of here. Uh, for a significant period to start the season. All right, we will keep this morning shared further information, including the possibility that Moran could be facing a lengthy suspension from the NBA after an investigation has been completed. We thought it appropriate that everybody would get to uh, react to this once today. Stephen A, I will start with you. It's really hard to put uh, to put this into words, but I'm gonna try. Um, 
As you know, I'm a Knicks fan, and we've talked about R.J. Barrett. Between Zion Williamson's body and John Morant's stupidity, <laughs> R.J. Barrett might end up being the best player. Hey, Stephen A. Cooking. You know, when you look at some of the things that has transpired, John Morant has already been suspended for eight games, uh, cost himself forfeited over $600,000. You know what the biggest issue here is? It's self-inflicted. It was his Instagram post that exposed the initial situation with him holding a gun that got him suspended. Now, with this latest video, it's somebody that he's with deciding to go on Instagram Live. This is not TMZ or somebody finding out something. Yeah, that's, that's my point. It's not, it's not an undercover scoop. It's not the Wall Street. It's not, it's not the New York Times. It's none of that. It's you. You like guns? Go to the gun range. All right. Yeah, it, 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 idiotic decision. Okay, yeah, That's yeah, an yeah. extension kicking it up but to the Memphis Grizzlies. Young, They've got to make a safe here to protect their brand. I expect a double-digit game no suspension. A lengthy suspension for John Morant to begin next season, and there isn't a single damn one of us that can say he doesn't deserve it based on this nonsense. I I'll remind everyone that after the previous incident, Jalen Rose had the opportunity to sit down with John Morant in the first interview that Morant did after meeting with the commissioner and all the rest of that. And so with that perspective in mind and the fact that you have had a chance to talk to him, Jalen, what were your thoughts when you saw that video now? It's really unfortunate. And the one thing we learn as athletes, in particular those that are fortunate enough to make it to the professional ranks, is that we're required to be role models. We're required to be eligible and we're required to be role models. And that doesn't necessarily serve in other professions as entertainers, whether you're an artist or whether you're an actor, a lot of times this type of behavior is celebrated and or promoted. But when you're an athlete, it's punished. And for Ja to put himself in this situation just a short time after that Man, scenario. It's, it's two months, bro. Let us at least forget about the other one, bro. If it was like a year, maybe we would have been like, oh, didn't that happen like last year? Bro, it was like two months. The, the playoffs that you were in haven't even ended yet. Like, the playoffs are still going. It's just, it's a shame. Yeah. And I think that's the that's the biggest deal here. This is a shame. And, you know. Well, that's it for this. Um, if you guys definitely want to check out these guys, this is probably, you know, this is NBA's big deal thing. And, uh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys this and, and get your info and get your, get your, uh, your thoughts, not info. Get your thoughts on what you think of John Morant, his actions so far. And what do you just do? What do you do at this point? Do you just be like, hey, man, get get some better homies or get your homies some training <laughs> in gun range, at the gun range? Like, go to the, get a gun range pass, maybe? Maybe that's what, maybe we do a, a Patreon so that we can get him to the gun range so he understands how to use guns properly, how to prop, you know, like, I'm not a gun person, but like if he likes guns that much, maybe look into some classes. I don't know, man. But that's just me. Thank you for watching this episode of Contentious Conversations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.